Hi guys, welcome to Talking Music Tutorials, the show in which I will analyze the song, play the cover and do a tutorial at the end. And today we're going to do Happy. So, Happy by Pharrell. It may seem to be a simple song, but as we will find out, it's really interesting. Um, Happy has been the most popular song of the year 2014 worldwide and is best known for the video clip, which is 24 hours long. And the song has a lot of repetition in it, so I'm going to find out why it doesn't get boring. The first thing I do when I analyze the song is trying to understand the meaning behind the song. Happy is the soundtrack to the movie Despicable Me 2, where Gru, the main character, is an evil man. But then he falls in love for the first time and he just can't express how much happiness he feels. Um, and the song is meant to express that, that feeling of unlimited joy. And that's why it repeats the word happy so often. So, let's look at the structure of the song. There are a few things to notice here. There are only four different parts in the song. Intro, chorus, verse and bridge. No pre-chorus, no outro. So if you want to learn to play this song, there's not so much you need to memorize. Also, more than half of the song is chorus. Each of those white bars is 16 measures, so 6 choruses is 96 measures of chorus, while the total song is 153 measures. So 63% of the song is chorus, and that's a lot, because on average a pop song is 40% chorus. So, from the structure it is clear that there's a lot of repetition. Now let's look at the instruments that are used. I think one of the key elements why Happy doesn't become boring is because of smart use of instruments. It's really clever. When the song starts off with the first verse you hear nothing but drums and vocals. The harmony is set by the intro, so the minimum you need is rhythm and melody. That's all there is. Then between the lines there is this bluesy electric piano. There's no bass, until the third line, and then it provides just enough variation for the first not to become boring. And then the final line is without bass again, so the lead to the chorus is more intense. So in the first chorus the backing vocals join, and the bass comes back, and also there are claps every quarter note. The same pattern also applies to verse 2 and chorus 2, and then we have a bridge which is very minimal again. The bridge is just a rhythm, which is done by the conga. The bass is done by the conga as well, because it sounds like an F. So, no need for bass. Uh, the harmony is done by the backing vocals, no instruments needed. And the melody is by the vocals of Pharrell. But overall it's very controlled, and I believe that that's the, the, the key to its success. It's just a nice groove. So the structure and timbre are interesting, but the harmony is kind of interesting too. It starts really bluesy with that F major harmony, and then the melody is in minor. And, and that major minor thingy, that becomes a theme throughout the song. Because in the chorus, the harmony touches that minor feeling as well, but, but it solves to major. Let me show you what I mean. So, the first chord is the C sharp major 7, then C minor 7, C minor 7 again, F major. Notice that that C sharp major 7 has the G sharp. So, that first chord has the minor, minor third of F. So, it really feels minor. It suddenly feels like, okay, we switch to minor now. The first was all bluesy, major minor, but now it's uh, stuff become serious, you know? It was all fun and now, oh, okay, minor. And then the second chord, C minor 7, yeah, that, that one could be both in F minor as in F major, don't know, but okay, we're in minor now, so it's minor. Back to where we were. 
Now, there is something that is even more interesting about this progression. It has this very familiar feeling of what some people like to call the Mario cadence. The Mario cadence. I, I'm sure you know this. Yeah, and there are more songs that have this, this, this progression. For example, Alan Parsons' All The Wise. In musical terms, we just like to call it a flat 6, flat 7, 1 progression. And many progressions have a particular feeling associated with them. And this one is quite strong. It, it represents a sense of good outcome, like there have been bad times, but now, finally, there's light at the end of the tunnel. And isn't that just the story of Gru? Anyway, it's a really cool progression and it serves the song very well. We already talked about the melody before. It's the F minor blues scale all the time. And it's, it's very much around the tonic. He sings the F very often. What I like though is how the two melodies of the chorus combine. Where you have the lyrics sung but also the backing vocals. So the backing vocals go like this. And together with, with the lyrics, it's like this. Very nice. Rhythm, yeah. So, the drum pattern is nice. It's nothing really special, but still, let me get my drum kit. It has this groove, and that's mainly because of the kick. The kick does this. Um, and the snare is just on the two and the four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So together you have... And then you have the hi-hat. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So all together you get... Really nice. And it's accented by that straight intro, remember? The first five. One, two, three, four. And I think that is the reason why, why Pharrell put an intro in the first place. Because you have those four kicks and then the pattern comes in which, which has that offbeat kick. If you started right at the first, you wouldn't feel that groove so much. One more thing about rhythm, the bass as this pattern in the chorus, which is kind of cool, I think. The song is extremely low on dynamics. It's very flat. If you look at this graphic of the audio, you can see this is true. I think this also helps to make the song more of an easy listening groove instead of something intense. And it's not, there's no build up to some climax. Happy doesn't have a boring part and Happy doesn't have a best part. It's just a groove with enough variation to keep it interesting. All right, that's it. If you like this analysis about Happy, please leave me a comment. Um, and also don't forget to check out my website and blog and YouTube show Talking Music. You can find it on talkingmusic.net and you can also suggest other songs for me to cover, so let me know. Thanks for watching!